Doppler ultrasound is used to detect flow within vessels. To demonstrate the use of Doppler ultrasound, we will obtain a mid-long axis view of the common carotid artery using a high-frequency linear transducer. Activate color Doppler on the device and position the color box over the lumen of the common carotid artery, or CCA. The color bar serves as a legend that maps color to the velocity and direction of blood flow. Here, the red color indicates flow toward the transducer, and the blue color indicates flow away from the transducer. The intensity or brightness of a color is a representation of the velocity of flow. By convention, the display should be configured so that flow within arteries is represented as red and flow within veins is blue. The color bar can be inverted. This is generally done to display normal directional flow in an artery to be represented with red color. Adjust the color gain if necessary so that color only appears in the lumen of the vessels, not outside of them. The normal CCA has a laminar flow pattern. This means that flow velocity in the center of the vessel is higher than near the wall of the vessel. Activate the spectral Doppler display mode. The spectral Doppler waveform enables the user to graphically visualize the velocity of blood flow over time. The system is dependent upon the user to set a number of parameters so that the correct result is displayed. First, the Doppler sample volume gate should be positioned in the center of the lumen or in the area of highest velocity. Next, adjust the sample volume. The sample volume is the area of flow that will be represented in the waveform. The sample volume size should be set to approximately one-third of the vessel diameter. Another user configurable parameter is the angle correct setting or AC. The AC corresponds with this bar. The purpose of this setting is to provide a correction factor in order to achieve the correct insination angle. The goal is to align the AC bar with the direction of flow. The AC value should be in the range of 0 to 60 degrees for the carotid artery Doppler study. Obtain a numeric value for flow velocity by using the measurement tools. Freeze the image and place a measurement caliper at the point of peak systolic velocity in the waveform. The end diastolic velocity can be measured by placing the caliper at the lowest point of the trough just before the systolic waveform.